Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be, this is probably going to be my last video talking about some of the new data mine information we have on patch 5.4, the crisis on Umbara. If you have not already checked out the two other videos I did, I talked about who the traitor is and about the future storyline so if you don't really care about spoilers that much, definitely go check out that video and then secondly I talked about some new information regarding the Umbara stronghold. Nothing too awesome but some new information regardless so I talked about that and then in this video we're going to be talking about a new toy or a new item that's going to be hitting the cartel market soon. Uh, probably not as a direct sale, we're most likely going to see it in the future cartel packs that we're getting with the Crisis on Umbara. Um, and these new toys is called the Polymorph toys. So what they do is they will morph you into a certain costume. Uh, so right now we have two costumes that were added, the Cantina Dancer costume and the Rishi Bird costume. And it basically transforms the entire model of your character into that. Now that is super cool. I am really excited about this. We have kind of similar toys right now. We have, for example, the Holographic Disguise. Now, that's a very cheap toy. It only costs like 30, 40,000 credits on the GTN, and it basically makes your entire character a holograph. That's rather cool. We also have some disguise toys. Like we obviously have the Trekka Kratomatic, which disguises you as a crate. We have the Hollow Shrub Tree Disguise, which is really cheap, only like 200,000 credits. That disguises you as a tree. And a lot of these toys are rather cool. A lot of people don't know about them. For example, I like to buy up some of these items for cheap, go to these uh, Joman Koss or Korban or stuff and give them away for free because a lot of new players don't know that these toys exist in the game. And when they find out that they do, they're really excited to realize, oh my god, like I can do all this cool stuff, like disguise myself as a tree and other stuff. It's nothing too um, amazing. It's just kind of this cool little thing that they added. And so adding these polymorph toys is definitely something I really like. It's new, it's unique, it's going to be cool and... Um, there are some added features to it as well. It doesn't just change how your character looks. You also have some pre-prescribed uh, um, lines that your character will say. So for example, the Rishi bird costume comes with these four lines that that initial Rishi character says to you when you uh, uh, enter Rishi during the Shadow of Revan expansion. So if you remember, there's that one Rishi bird that gives you your initial mission on Rishi. And that guy's always seeing these kind of quirky lines and stuff. And when you transform using the polymorph tour, it seems as though you actually say those lines as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so we have two right now, the Cantina Dancer costume. Uh, we already can dress up like a Cantina Dancer with a lot of those skimpy outfits we have on the cartel market, so nothing too special there. I'm not sure if it'll change your species or whatever, we'll all have to see about that in the future. But the Rishi Bird is definitely something I'm, I'm really excited for, that's kind of cool. As, well, as I mentioned earlier, it's nothing too amazing, it's just this kind of cool added thing that they're doing. But these are most likely going to be gold items, considering that they're new, um, and that Bioware is probably going to capitalize on that, then we'll probably see silver versions a little bit later. We're also probably getting them with the Crisis on Umbara uh, patch. So patch 5.4, we're going to see some new cartel packs hit, and they will probably include these polymorph toys. And um, one other thing to keep in mind is we'll probably see some data mine information regarding these new packs very soon, and I'll definitely do a video on those when they hit, and so we'll probably get a good sense of what we're going to be getting soon. So stay tuned for those videos. Anyways, as always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you excited for these toys? I definitely am. I think they're really cool additions. And um, I'm glad that they're adding some new stuff to cartel packs rather than just kind of giving us reskins. I'm really happy when they added tunings. Those were definitely the best addition they probably made in the recent year. Um, then they added flares, which were also cool, and now they're adding these polymorph toys. So it's good that they're heading in a direction where they're giving us unique new items rather than, rather than just the same reskin over and over again. Anyways, as always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one.